Welcome to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Let's be great. Let's be great. Where we'll hang out and discuss all things fantasy football. Go rock this thing, huh? Love you, man. Go get it. We'll give our best fantasy advice, predictions, insights, and more. Play our game. All right, play, play hard, but stay poor. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. The show starts with Devin, Rick, and Quinn right now. Oh, sorry. Ready? I, I just woke up. I was sleepy on Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> <laughs> what is That's that first fans? Man. That is funny. I mean, we're having a great time here today. No, that was trash. Well, all right. Today we have a, another Outside the Box series running back for you. His name is Le'Veon Bell. Bell. Dairy <laughs> Queen <laughs> Accenture. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get going, what's his last name? Bell. And you guys, you know the little bell? Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, we can't put that in. <laughs> You're You're dumb. Subscribe, like, hit You're the dumb. notification bell. You're dumb. You, you might be dumb, dumb but you, know, you guys know what I'm talking about, dumb. right? Get dumb. All right. Back to Don't Le'Veon Bell. Don't put that part in there. You can't. People are snowflakes. <laughs> We can't put that part in there, that's for sure. So we are bringing Le'Veon Bell to you um, as a outside of the top 12 running back that could finish inside the top 12. Mm -hmm. With that being said, Devin, what do you have for us? Let's hear about him. Mm. So Le'Veon Bell at Pittsburgh was absolutely insane. We We absolutely know that. Yeah, but how long ago was that? I'm old and I don't remember when that was. Too many years. I think a lot of that was Mike Tomlin, though. He's hmm. he's really good with running backs. So um, well, not James Conner. James Conner's great. No. Yeah, he's good. I'll, I'll say he's no. good. He's good. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Great. Anyway, uh, so <sighs> Le'Veon Bell on New York Jets was his first year back from taking a year off. Right. His second year, I think he's primed to do a little bit better. I sure hope so. On <laughs> on top of that, well, yeah, because you can't <laughs> you can't do worse. <laughs> That was, that was not good. Yeah, that was not a good He season. really couldn't do no. that much worse, though, as far as... He was getting, like, eight catches for 12 yards. Yeah, his yeah. yards per carry were pretty much his terrible. His catch worst percentage is ever. crazy high, though. Yeah, he's good at catching the yeah. ball, but when you don't get any yards, it doesn't do you that good. Um, w- w- what I was about to say is that they're, uh, they got an offensive line from the Panthers. One of their best, actually... They got him off a of free agency. Yeah, they also got Connor McGovern from the Broncos, who was a decent offensive lineman. And the draft pick. Exactly. Mackay Becton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boom. So they have a revamped offensive line. Exactly. Of course. I love that. So it can only go up because they were exactly. awful. Boom, boom, boom. And I think uh, Sam Darnold, I don't think he's going to get mono again. Yeah. So that's not going to hurt the offense anymore. Right. Dang, you just jinxed it. Dang you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Although he can get the coronavirus, which is the same oh. thing, two weeks out. Or longer. Or longer. And it affects yeah, you. That's true. Minimum of two weeks. So. That's a good point. Uh, anyway, with all that yeah. being said, love Bell. I definitely see him doing better. I think if he does worse, that's just sad, yeah. personally. Because he he was one of the best. And yeah. yeah. And he just even though he took dropped. a year off, he, you don't forget the game. Mm-mm. He still knew how to play. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I mean, with the Jets, though, a new team, haven't been known to be good at running. I mean, here's the thing. If he only improves a little bit, because I think he's, what, the 16th rated running back last year? So if he just... He was top 20, yeah. Improves a little bit, mm-hmm. he could finish inside the top 12. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. He could be number 12. Yeah. So he, <laughs> even though with, with all those negatives we just pointed out, if things improve just a little bit, I think he had very minimal touchdowns. Sue, do you have his stats? Uh, so, yeah, total he had four for the year. Yeah, that's awful. So, terrible. I mean, he could double that and get, mm-hmm. you know, quite a few more points just from touchdowns. Yeah, so I think I have him ranked number, like, seven in my rankings. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I could I could easily see him being a potential tight end, it's all I gonna, mean, potential running back. It's all going to fall on the Jets because every year they just, you yeah. know, they mix it all up. Yeah. They get crazy. This could be the year, though. They they added yeah, some weapons. They revamped their offensive line a little bit. That's been said for a lot, while. actually. Every tier, every no, team says had... this year, this is my year if they do. No, 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 no. I don't think this is their year for that. <laughs> yeah, but this they... is their year to kind of maybe. This is your, their year to get back into it. You know, they don't got to go against. Tom I mean, they have Brady three twice. three wide receivers who are potential. Yeah. Decent to good. You know, that's good. They have a running back who's. Mm-hmm. Decent to good. Yeah. They have a quarterback who's now decent to good. They have an offensive line that's... I think our offensive line is actually really good. 
Yeah. I mean, the whole thing here is trying to find some value and get that running back that's going later that could finish as a inside the top I don't, 12. I don't think it's the team that's the problem. I think it might be Adam Gase. That might be the issue. Well, that's something we don't want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> poor, poor guy. That's uh, that's Love Bell for you. You guys got anything yeah. else on Love Bell? Why he could... Why he could bust through. Like I said, he's not going to take much for him to do that. He's mm-hmm. not too, too far behind. And with that low touchdown total, those are subjective. Mm-hmm. Uh, if he doubles that or, you know, what if he goes for, you know, seven or eight on the ground and three or four through the air this year? I mean, that's going to... Come on, bro. High five me for uh, real. He's not a man. Whoops. All right. Look. Bam. With that being said, we thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and click the like. Subscribe. Notification bell if you want to get uh, more notifications of when we go live with some more of this Outside the Box series and other stuff. we got lots of stuff going on. Uh, you can also check out our website, uh, fantasyfootballfirst.com. Mm-hmm. we got a lot of the stuff on there. You can get all of our videos on there, all of our articles. Uh, you can check out our rankings and all sorts of other good stuff. We're going to keep developing on that throughout the rest of the season. Mm-hmm. And uh, the most important part, I think, is uh, go ahead and... Uh, Finish first. Thank you for listening to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Jackson throws the fleet. Crabtree has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at FantasyFootballFirst.com.